if New York could just dedicate one hour a week to help our, our neighbors, it would really send the right message. The renaming of streets allow us to send a strong message that uh, this is not a monolithic city. It's a city of diversity. And in the naming of the streets, the naming of schools, the naming of plazas should reflect that diversity. What is the best way to deal with the mental health crisis we have than connecting people with the faith-based institutions? You have people among your group who are eligible for SNAP and seniors who are eligible for SCREE to keep their rents frozen. We want you to be part of that communication to give them the help you need. We're putting mental health at the forefront of our public health agenda, which starts with the people who need help the most. And we're committing more resources than ever to prevention and early intervention. This report focuses on three main areas. One, actively promoting the mental health of our children and families through prevention and intervention. Our second area is substance use and the overdose crisis. Third, we must continue our efforts to help New Yorkers suffering from serious mental illness get the treatment they need. That's getting stuff done for our bodies, for our minds, and our souls. You would be surprised how many low-income New Yorkers don't know about EITC. This is going to put over $350 million back into the pockets of New Yorkers and helping them pay for essential food, bills, rent, all the things that New Yorkers are asking to get assistance for.